Chapter 1, The Missing Chess Pawn I woke up early in the morning, feeling a sense of excitement tingling in my tiny body. I am Gia, a three-year-old girl living in the quaint town of Westby. Today, I was about to embark on a thrilling adventure filled with mystery and puzzles. Little did I know that a simple missing chess pawn would lead me to uncover a secret room and the enigmatic Mr. Gerald, the headmaster of my school. As I arrived at school, I noticed a commotion near the chessboard in the library. Tom, Ralph, Kizia, and Mrs. Bellany, our teacher, were gathered around, discussing something intensely. I approached them with curiosity, tugging at Mrs. Bellany's dress. What's happening, Mrs. Bellany? Why is everyone so worried? She looked down at me, a hint of concern in her eyes. Ooh, dear Jaya, we seem to have lost a chess pawn. It's mysteriously gone missing, and it's an important piece for our upcoming tournament. Tom chimed in, it's the black pawn that Mr. Gerald gave us. He said it was special, but now it's nowhere to be found. Ralph added, I saw Mr. Gerald acting strange near the chessboard yesterday. Do you think he knows something? Kizia, always the observant one, joined the conversation. She said, and have you noticed the strange bookshelves in his office? They seem out of place, like they hide something. I couldn't help but feel a wave of curiosity wash over me. The puzzle was unraveling, and I wanted to be a part of it. I want to help. Let's find the missing chess pawn and solve this mystery together. The group exchanged glances and shared a knowing smile. Mrs. Bellany knelt down to my level. She said, All right, kids, but remember, we must be careful. Let's start by investigating Mr. Gerald's office during lunch break. It's time to unveil the secrets hidden within our school. The hours crept by slowly, but finally, it was lunch break. With stealthy steps, we made our way to Mr. Gerald's office, our hearts pounding with anticipation. As we entered the room, we discovered the peculiar bookshelves Kizia had mentioned. They concealed a hidden door. Mrs. Cindy, the librarian, appeared, her eyes wide with surprise. What are you all doing here? And how did you find the secret entrance? Miss Fanny, the school gardener who happened to be passing by, joined the conversation. She said, It seems there's more to this mystery than we thought. Mrs. Cindy, why is there a pendant necklace identical to the one you always wear? Mrs. Cindy's face turned pale, and she stammered, Jaya, I don't know what you're talking about. This necklace is a family heirloom. How did it end up here? The room fell silent as we tried to piece together the connections between the missing pawn, Mr. Gerald's strange behavior, and the pendant necklace. The mystery deepened, and it was clear we had stumbled upon something bigger than we could have imagined. Chapter 2 Unraveling the Secrets We stood there in Mr. Gerald's office, stunned by the revelation of the pendant necklace. Mrs. Cindy seemed genuinely perplexed, and it was evident that the mystery had taken an unexpected turn. We needed answers, and we needed them fast. Taking a deep breath, I mustered the courage to speak up. Mrs. Cindy, how did this pendant necklace end up here? And why does it look exactly like the one you always wear? Mrs. Cindy hesitated for a moment, her eyes darting around the room. Jaya. I don't know, I truly don't. This necklace has been in my family for generations. It holds sentimental value, but I never expected to find another one like it. Kizia, always analytical, spoke up, there must be a connection between Mr. Gerald, the missing pawn, and the pendant necklace. Let's not forget the strange behavior Ralph witnessed near the chessboard. Tom nodded in agreement. I think it's time we confront Mr. Gerald and get some answers. 
As we made our way back to the library, where Mr. Gerald was known to spend his free time, we couldn't help but feel a mix of anticipation and trepidation. The library was dimly lit, and the scent of old books hung in the air. There, in the far corner of the library, we found Mr. Gerald engrossed in a book, oblivious to our presence. Mrs. Bellany cleared her throat to gain his attention. Startled, Mr. Gerald looked up, his eyes widening as he saw us. What are you all doing here? Shouldn't you be in class? Mrs. Bellany spoke firmly but calmly. We have some questions, Mr. Gerald. There is something suspicious happening, and it seems to be connected to you. He shifted uncomfortably in his chair. I assure you, there's nothing to be concerned about. The missing pawn is a mere coincidence, and as for the necklace, I have no idea how it ended up in my office. Kizia, ever the detective, pressed further. But what about the hidden room behind the bookshelves? Are you hiding something, Mr. Gerald? He sighed, his gaze faltering. All right, I can't keep it a secret any longer. There is a story behind that hidden room, the pendant necklace, and the missing pawn. But it's a tale best told from the beginning. We gathered closer, captivated by Mr. Gerald's confession. You see, many years ago, this school was a hub of secret meetings for a group of individuals interested in unraveling mysteries. They called themselves the Enigma Society. They would gather in the hidden room, discussing puzzles, riddles, and secrets. I was part of that society, and the pendant necklace was the symbol of our unity. He continued, as time went on, the Enigma Society disbanded, and the secrets were buried within the school. However, I couldn't let go of the memories. I kept the pendant necklace and the hidden room as a reminder of those thrilling times. A sense of wonder filled the room as Mr. Gerald's tale unfolded. The missing pawn, it seemed, was just a coincidence, but the connection between the necklace and the secret room remained elusive. Tom spoke up, curiosity shining in his eyes. So, what does all this have to do with Mrs. Cindy's necklace and the strange bookshelves? Mr. Gerald's eyes flickered with realization. I believe Mrs. Cindy's necklace is more than a mere coincidence. It must hold some significance to the Enigma Society. As for the bookshelves, they were designed to protect the secret room and its memories. The pieces of the puzzle were slowly coming together, yet the mystery was far from solved. We now knew the origin of the hidden room, the pendant necklace, and Mr. Gerald's involvement. But the questions remained. How did Mrs. Cindy's necklace end up in Mr. Gerald's office, and why was the pawn missing? Chapter 3 Unveiling the Truth As the questions lingered in our minds, we realized there was another piece of the puzzle yet to be uncovered. The enigmatic Mrs. Bellany, our teacher, seemed to hold a secret that connected the missing pawn, Mrs. Cindy's necklace, and Mr. Gerald's hidden room. With a newfound determination, we approached Mrs. Bellany, ready to confront her about her role in this intricate web of mystery. Mrs. Bellany, I spoke hesitantly, we can't help but wonder if you know more than you've let on. The missing pawn, the pendant necklace, and the hidden room all seem to intertwine, and we believe you hold a key to the truth. She looked at us, her eyes flickering with a mix of surprise and trepidation. I never thought you'd uncover my secret, she admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. But you deserve to know the truth. Mrs. Bellany went on to reveal that she had been a member of the Enigma Society, just like Mr. Gerald. She had once possessed the pendant necklace, but she lost it many years ago. The significance of Mrs. Cindy's necklace and its presence in Mr. Gerald's office remained a mystery to her as well. But what about the missing pawn? Ralph asked, his voice filled with intrigue. Mrs. Bellany sighed. The missing pawn was not part of the original mystery. 
It was a separate incident orchestrated by someone who wanted to disrupt the harmony of our school. I suspect that person has ties to the Enigma Society and is using our shared past against us. Our minds raced, trying to make sense of the pieces falling into place. The missing pawn, the pendant necklace, the hidden room, and now an unknown antagonist. It was clear that our journey was far from over. Determined to find answers, we decided to retrace our steps and delve deeper into the secrets of the Enigma Society. We returned to the hidden room, inspecting every corner for clues that might lead us to the truth. As we examined the bookshelves, I noticed something peculiar, a small, concealed compartment. Inside, we found a worn-out journal filled with cryptic writings and symbols. It was the personal journal of Mrs. Bellany. We pored over the journal, deciphering the coded messages and piecing together the fragments of the past. It became clear that Mrs. Bellany had stumbled upon a long-forgotten secret, a secret that had driven her to join the Enigma Society and eventually become a teacher at our school. In her journal, Mrs. Bellany detailed her quest to find the pendant necklace, a symbol of her identity within the Enigma Society. She had suspected Mr. Gerald's involvement in its disappearance, and she had hidden the truth from us to protect us from the danger she believed lay ahead. But now, armed with this newfound knowledge, we realized that the missing pawn and the mystery of Mrs. Cindy's necklace were connected to the larger enigma surrounding the Enigma Society. With a renewed sense of purpose, we resolved to confront the unknown antagonist, to uncover their identity and put an end to their manipulations. Chapter 4 The Final Confrontation Armed with the revelations from Mrs. Bellany's journal, we were determined to uncover the truth behind the missing pawn, Mrs. Cindy's necklace, and the enigmatic Enigma Society. We knew that the answers lay within the secret world they had built. As we gathered in our classroom, a sense of anticipation filled the air. On Mrs. Bellany's desk, we discovered a peculiar globe. Upon closer inspection, we noticed a hidden compartment, and inside it, a piece of paper covered in encrypted writing. Excitement surged through us as we realized this paper held the key to unraveling the secrets of the Enigma Society. We hurriedly deciphered the codes, desperate to uncover the truth that lay dormant for so long. Finally, the words emerged from the encrypted messages, revealing a message that sent shivers down our spines. The truth lies in the heart of the Enigma Society. Seek the one who weaves the web of secrets. We exchanged anxious glances, knowing that our final confrontation with the unknown antagonist was imminent. It was time to face the enigmatic figures who had woven this intricate web of mystery. With unwavering determination, we ventured into the depths of the hidden room where the Enigma Society once gathered. As we stepped inside, the room seemed to hold echoes of their whispers and secrets. Suddenly, the door slammed shut behind us, plunging us into darkness. Panic threatened to consume us, but we steeled ourselves, refusing to succumb to fear. A faint light flickered in the center of the room, revealing the silhouette of a figure. It was Mr. Gerald, his face etched with a mix of guilt and desperation. You have come far, he said, his voice heavy with regret. But there is one final revelation you must face. Kizia spoke with determination. Who are you, and why have you orchestrated this elaborate mystery? Mr. Gerald's gaze faltered, and he began to unravel the truth. I am not Mr. Gerald. I am an imposter, an imposter who sought to reclaim the power and secrets of the Enigma Society. My true identity is Professor Marcus Wolfe, a former member of the Society who believed in harnessing its secrets for personal gain. Gasps filled the room as we realized the magnitude of the deception. The true Mr. Gerald had fallen victim to Professor Wolf's treachery while we were unwittingly caught in the crossfire. But why? I asked, my voice trembling. 
Why involve us and put our school in jeopardy? Professor Wolf sneered, his facade crumbling. You were merely pawns in my game, meant to divert attention and create chaos. The missing pawn, Mrs. Cindy's necklace, and the hidden room were all part of my plan to resurrect the Enigma Society's power. Ralph's voice rose with anger. You've caused enough damage. It's time for the truth to prevail. With a surge of bravery, we lunged forward, confronting Professor Wolf head-on. The struggle was intense, but together, we managed to overpower him and retrieve the evidence that would expose his true identity to the authorities. As the dust settled, Mrs. Bellany, who had been silently observing, stepped forward. The Enigma Society may have crumbled, but we, as a community, have rediscovered the importance of trust, friendship, and the pursuit of knowledge. With Professor Wolf apprehended, the missing pawn returned, and the secrets revealed, our school began to heal from the wounds inflicted by the enigmatic web of mystery. In the aftermath of the ordeal, we formed a new society, one that celebrated curiosity, problem-solving, and the joy of unraveling riddles. The legacy of the Enigma Society lived on in our hearts, reminding us to cherish the power of discovery. And so, the mystery that began with a missing chess pawn led us down a winding path of secrets, betrayal, and ultimately, redemption. We emerged stronger, united by the bonds forged in the face of adversity. The End